Let's speak to Besma Momani. Besma is a senior fellow at the Centre for International Governance Innovation and joins us from Waterloo in Canada. Besma, thank you so much for your time. Give us an overall analysis of what's happened. My pleasure. Well, what you see is a, a very divided Canada. In many ways, a, a lot of uh, voters went with sort of regional concerns. Uh, we saw, of course, a separatist party, the Bloc Québécois, take over most of, uh, of, of Quebec. Uh, we saw eastern provinces uh, pretty much a toss-up between the major political parties and the immigrant-rich areas of Toronto uh, and Montreal and much of Ontario uh, did go liberal. And that was partly because of fear that perhaps the Conservatives under, uh, under Andrew Scheer might be, uh, frankly, uh, against immigrants. And so that myth, whether real or not, was one that kept many people, frankly, with uh, Trudeau. And they voted in the Liberals uh, because they were being strategic in fear of the Conservatives. Of course, out West, uh, particularly Alberta, we saw a very much a strong support for the Conservatives. Uh, they tend to be very much in favor of having an expansion of oil pipelines lines, which uh, the Scheer government is the one that has been the most, or the Scheer uh, uh, candidacy has been the one that's been the most proponent of. And then BC was, again, a toss-up between different factions, different, you know, political parties. At the end of the day, the Liberals were able to create a minority government. They're going to want to be uh, allied with the NDP on certain issues, uh, perhaps even the Greens and the Bloc Québécois on others. But it does look like we're probably headed to another election in, in less than four years, maybe two uh, at the very most. Really? Okay, the NDP, just to help the viewers, the NDP, the more left-wing party compared to the Liberals, uh, Jagmeet Singh, I believe the first. How, how, do, how are you describing him in Canada? I mean, he's a Sikh. What are you guys saying about him as a political leader? What, the first non-white political leader or the first uh, son of an immigrant leader? What's the description of him? Well, I guess the technical term is visible minority uh, in Canada or racialized individual. Uh, and that it would have been a, a big, I think, uh, success for a lot of immigrants who uh, haven't seen the political class, frankly, really reflect them in many ways. Although uh, the Trudeau government in the past uh, four years had done a lot to try and get a lot of minorities in his cabinet, probably the most we've ever seen, uh, Im children of immigrants and 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 immigrants themselves and even refugees uh, really taking up prominent you know, roles in his cabinet. Uh, Singh, of course, was very popular amongst a lot of young people, environmentalists, and many people looking for change, but he wasn't able to break through in Quebec. Uh, Quebec has very strong... frankly, has had a very uh, sort of checkered history when it comes to being welcoming to immigrants. And despite the fact Singh being very progressive, beautiful francophone, uh, you know, being able to speak French eloquently, uh, it just wasn't enough. Do you think? I mean, it seems as if from this result that Justin Trudeau, the great unifier, the man who could represent the majority, that that's now ended. 
Well, in some ways, certainly his image has been tarnished. You can't really escape that. Uh, but many people stuck with him, frankly, out of strategic reasons. They just did not like the alternatives. They feared, in some case, Andrew Scheer's government, the conservatives, would might be too much to the right. Uh, there was a lot of accusation that, you know, Scheer would bring Trumpian-type policies, although that's not really fair. But the fact of the matter is people perceived it. We found out very late in the game that he was an American citizen, that he hadn't disclosed. I mean, all of these things, frankly, pushed people to the Liberal Party in fear of the Conservatives, and I think many not being strategic enough or ambitious enough to go with the NDP, knowing that Singh, unfortunately, would not get the support of Quebec, he would not be able to form a government, and so the best of you know, worst worlds was frankly going back to the liberals, despite the fact that many are very upset with much of what's come out about Trudeau in the past few weeks. Basma, really appreciate it. Thank you so much indeed. Basma Momani speaking to us from Waterloo in Canada.